Eagles are trading linebacker Hassan Reddick to the New York Jets. That is, Reddick spent the past two seasons with the Eagles, was named to the Pro Bowl in each of those. It, Philly will receive a conditional 2026 third round pick. Which As a Dallas Cowboys fan, I need to ask all Philadelphia Eagles fans one question. What is it like to have your front office actually make moves to improve your roster? The Philadelphia Eagles just made a huge trade with the New York Jets. We're going to cover each and every aspect of it and why they would do such a thing. So before we get to the content, we are currently racing my Flight Mike basketball channel to 1 million subscribers. They have a 38,000 subscriber lead on us, but I personally think we could beat them. So make sure you check your subscribe, turn on your notifications to help the channel grow. Now that we get all that out of the way, work! look right over here you'll see all of these wonderful human beings that have been able to make some money by playing prize picks and i give away my picks for free each and every day on my instagram at the flight mike and snapchat at flight mike snap and right now they're hooking up my subscribers fat when you use my promo code flight mike when you sign up for prize picks and thank you prize picks for the sponsor. Mike Chuck 1212, what's going on everybody? The Philadelphia Eagles have not stood pat ever since their demise in the NFL playoffs. They opened up their offseason by releasing Kevin Byard before making their biggest move of free agency by signing Saquon Barkley to a huge contract to be the engine of their offense, but they didn't stop there. My favorite move of their offseason so far was signing edge rusher Bryce Huff. Now, at the time, one might wonder why would the Philadelphia Eagles do such a thing. They already had Hassan Reddick that was coming off of a 16 sack season in year one for the Philadelphia Eagles on route to making an appearance in the Super Bowl and finishing as an all pro. And then this past year when they were questioning whether or not they should keep Hassan Reddick, came back and got another double digit sack season for the Philadelphia Eagles. At the same time, the Eagles had questions about whether or not they would even be able to retain Hassan Reddick. On one hand, Hassan Reddick is going into his age 30 season. The other hand, Bryce Huff is following a similar trajectory himself, coming in with a 10 sack season with the New York Jets last year. So obviously the Philadelphia Eagles would want to do whatever they possibly can to get younger at that edge rusher position. And they're not in the market to be able to hand off lucrative contracts to aging stars. And with respect to Hassan Reddick, that's exactly what he is. The Eagles are currently in good shape for the salary cap this season with $32 million of cap space left, but things are gonna get really ugly for this team next season. And they had to figure out a way to make sure that they could cut some of their salary cap space because it's only a matter of time before Jalen Hurts and AJ Brown start eating into the Philadelphia Eagles cap space. And then on top of that, you want to figure out what you're going to do with Devontae Smith, who is in line for a contract extension. So there was only one path for the Philadelphia Eagles here in order to make sure that they can sustain their level of excellence for the foreseeable future, especially because it seems like the NFC East is wide open. And this is coming from a Cowboy fan. You have the Washington. Washington Commanders that are currently rebuilding. You got Dan Quinn from the Dallas Cowboys alongside Dorrance Armstrong, Tyler Biotic, Austin Eckler, and a bunch of other marquee free agents to go over, some of them being former Cowboys. And then you have the Dallas Cowboys who are unsure if Dak Prescott is going to be their starter for the foreseeable future. So making sure that you have salary cap flexibility is going to make all the difference. But even furthermore, the Eagles have been notorious for hoarding young talent on their defensive line. Whether it's drafting Nolan Smith to pair with Jalen Carter, and Jordan Davis, the acquisition of Bryce Huff, or the signing of Devin White. So with all that being said, it seemed like there was only one reasonable path for Hassan Reddick, and that's to trade him. And that's what the Philadelphia Eagles decided to do. Because according to Adam Schefter, we have a trade. The Philadelphia Eagles are sending their edge rusher, Hassan Reddick, to the New York Jets for a conditional 2026 third round pick that could be a second round pick, sources tell ESPN. The protections on the pick is the 2026 pick becomes a second if Reddick has 67.5% playtime this season and has 10 or more sacks. If not, it's a 2023 third round pick. Now, Hassan Reddick does not 
have a new deal with the Jets and is now entering the final year of his contract. If the New York Jets don't extend him and he leaves in free agency, the Jets would get a compensatory pick. So they're giving up a pick and if they lose him, they would get one back. Now I have multiple thoughts about this. On one hand, I believe that Vance McDonald was about to get his opportunity to shine now that Bryce Huff went to the Philadelphia Eagles. It's kind of funny because, and Sauce Gardner says this straight up, it's almost as if the New York Jets traded Bryce Huff straight up for Hassan Reddick. Sauce Gardner even said that the GM convo had to go like this. Joe Douglas, I showed love to you and gave y'all Bryce and this is how you're gonna do me. Howie said, you're right, Joe. In this particular instance, it's very difficult to say which player is better between Hassan Reddick and Bryce Huff because if you take a look at their snaps according to Next Gen Snaps, Hassan Reddick played twice as many snaps on early downs last season compared to former Jet Bryce Huff, generating 17 more pressures than him on such downs. Reddick was one of three players to record six or more pressures in eight games in 2023. You can't really look at this and say that one player is better than the other. There's just a completely different package around each and every player. Hassan Reddick is significantly more proven, but he's significantly older than Bryce Huff. For all you know, he could turn in a bad season at any point. But historically, it seems like aging edge rushers, when placed in the right situations, could put together remarkable seasons for you. I mean, think about how well Khalil Mack did this past year for the Los Angeles Chargers. The man had 17 sacks this past year for crying out loud, the most he's had in his entire career. And this is after not having a double digit sack season since his first season in Chicago six years ago. So you can't really pick wrong when it comes to Bryce Huff versus Hassan Reddick because Bryce Huff has had significantly less playing time. His average time to pressure is a little bit higher than Hassan Reddick's, but he's significantly younger. The upside for Bryce Huff is definitely there, but in my opinion, you can't really go wrong here. The New York Jets just didn't want to be left at the altar at the edge rusher position, so I could very much respect this move for them. They didn't really have to give up much in order to get this done either. Now here's where it gets really crazy. When you take a step back and and look at the New York Jets entire team. This team is absolutely terrifying. Now, of course they need to stay fully healthy. And historically there were questions about whether or not this team would be able to stay fully healthy. But let's just assume here. I mean, on offense, you got Aaron Rodgers. Backing him up, you have Tyrod Taylor and Zach Wilson. At running back, you have Brees Hall. At wide receiver, you have Garrett Wilson, Mike Williams, Xavier Gibson, and Alan Lazard. At tight end, you have Tyler Conklin. Your offensive line looks nasty especially if you stay healthy with Tyron Smith, John Simpson, Elijah Vera Tucker, and Morgan Moses. And bear in mind, this is a team that still has the 10th overall pick in the NFL draft. They could go O-line, they could go wide receiver. They could also decide to sit pat and take Brock Bowers at tight end. And then you look at this team on defense and it's absolutely stacked. They have the best defensive tackle in football, which I know it sounds really weird to say that in Quinn and Williams. They signed Javon Kinlaw. They also have Solomon Thomas is rotating in with them. At defensive end, you have Jermaine Johnson who had a breakout season last year and backing him up, you have Will McDonald who was also a former first round pick. Then you just traded for Hassan Reddick. You're pairing him with CJ Mosley and then you get to your DBs and you have Sauce Gardner, Chuck Clark and DJ Reed. I mean, obviously there's a question about whether or not this team could stay healthy. And historically, the reason why the Jets weren't able to succeed was because they weren't ever able to stay healthy. But if they can stay Stay healthy, which is a big if. This team looks like one of the most scariest rosters in the entire NFL, assuming that they could stay healthy. And again, as a Cowboy fan, I've seen Tyron Smith go down with injuries way too many times. We all know what happened with Aaron Rodgers this past season. We also know Mike Williams is very prone to injury as well. But again, assuming that they don't deal with any injuries, this is one of the scariest rosters in the entire NFL. And their division is also stacked. So I can't wait to see the head to head had matchups between the Jets and the Bills and the Jets and the Dolphins. I think this has been a very impressive offseason for the New York Jets. But at the end of the day, a third round pick for a team that's going all in for an edge rusher that has had double digit sacks over the past four seasons of his career, despite being on three separate teams, is an absolute no brainer. For the New York Jets, I give them an A plus, not because they moved on from Bryce Huff for Hassan Reddick, but because this is a very intelligent investment of their assets in order to make sure that they get someone that is capable of getting after the quarterback. For the Philadelphia Eagles, I think this move for them makes the most sense. They're consistently trying to get younger at the defensive line position, and they've been doing a remarkable job at doing that. Last year, they lost Javon Hargrave, and they replaced him with Jalen Carter. 
They took flyers on players like Nolan Smith, and now they're doing it by swapping Hassan Reddick for Bryce Huff. I don't think they could go wrong here. I think both sides are winning here. I think it's an awesome trade for both sides. Although Bryce Huff technically isn't the player that's being traded for Hassan Reddick. But let me know in the comment section down below, especially if you're a Jets fan or an Eagles fan. What do you think about this trade? Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.